Hello, blog number four, I think, eh? Number four, buddy? It could be. Keep your eyes on the road, man. Sorry. Especially against Frasier. Oh, my bad. All right, we've got Cindy Hi. and Rebecca Hi. back here with us. <laughs> Journalism students with King's College at Dalhousie, and we are on our way uh, bright and early again. It's 7.40 in the morning. Corey was up at... He says five. I don't know if I buy that. Um, he picked me up at six. I was up at like I was up at three minutes to five. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't go to bed till four fifty-nine. So. <laughs> um, so we're on our way today to Sheet Harbor and to um, Spry Bay. And we're hoping to catch the two range lights at Sheet Harbor and uh, Spry Bay will probably be a little bit of a hike in. We're not sure if there's going to be um, a bunch of snow there, if it's been plowed or not. But uh, we'll see if we can get the drone up and, uh, and capture those ones. Alright, so we made it to Spry Bay. I'll uh, turn around here. You can see the beautiful bay here and behind us. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, there's the lighthouse right there. There's still power going to it, Corey says, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, we think it's still operational, or maybe at least a sector light. And there's my two journalists right behind me. Hi. <laughs> Lighthouse uh, number 49. 49. So we're going to uh, send the drone up, and the uh, wind should be okay, and uh, wish us luck. All right, continuing with the blog entry, um, I'm a little bit happier now. I didn't blog earlier because I was uh, Mr. Sourpuss after not being able to fly at uh, Spry Bay. The winds came up, which despite that, Corey and I were still gonna push it and fly. Um, however, then uh, the drone just refused to operate. Um, it kept giving me uh, cold battery uh, warnings and uh, then it just gave me internal uh, errors, calibration errors. Um, it just was basically saying it was too bloody cold outside. And at uh, minus, I think the wind chill was minus 20? Around there, yeah. And what was it temperature-wise, you figure? It was, uh, the truck was reading minus 15, and the wind chill was putting it down closer to minus 20. And that wasn't on the coast? No, the truck was reading from, from about a 15 minute hike from the coast. Yeah, so it was a bit of a hike in, and it was, it was cold out there, and right on the coastline, and uh, anyway, the drone was like, uh, no, it's not happening today. So that kind of sucked. And then we started to come back, and I felt bad for my students back here, <laughs> my reporter friends. And um, anyway, started to drive back, and we, we thought maybe we'd stop in and see Don and Cindy, or Don and Crystal, sorry, at, uh, at Muscadabit Range Rear Light, or French Point, or Pleasant Point. It's the only lighthouse I know that's got like three names. Anyways, um, it worked out well. So, you know, I've flown that one already. We've already got a video up on it, but uh, Don and Crystal allowed us to go uh, up to the top of the lighthouse. So uh, I think the lady's got some good footage up there. Up there, and then we managed to warm the batteries up enough um, to get the drone up in the air. It wasn't reacting super well because it was still probably about uh, maybe 12, 14 below, but um, it wasn't as windy and we got what we needed to get so they could uh, get some footage for their story and uh, I can provide some footage for them. So. So anyways, 
We're heading back to the city now. We have not accomplished uh, getting any more lighthouses. We're still stuck at 48. Hopefully we can get out sometime this week. And uh, that's about it for now. So anyways, uh, we got some cool pictures though, so I'll share those on here. Cheers.